We are back on track. It is June 19th. I received this box just a couple of days ago. I've been saying it for months. I'm glad to be back on track. Let's check out what's inside this box. All right. According to this card here, it looks like there's quite a bit of stuff in there. Let's push this off to the side and see what we got first here. The first thing that we're going to look at is a Lucky John, <clears throat> not to be confused with a Lucky Craft, but a Lucky John Pro Series, is that Lou? Lou Pencil? It goes for $12.99. That would be this guy right here. So a Lou Pencil, as most names that have the word pencil in it, is a topwater lure. This is a 98 size, says topwater right on it. Made in Japan, has a lot of... Japanese writing on it. You know, you've seen one top water pencil bait, you've seen them all. But let's check out what this offering looks like. All right. It's certainly nice looking. Got a very nice looking paint job on it. It says Lou Pencil on the back, 98. A little bit of purple on the head, black eyes, kind of a transparent side of the body. Blue back there, pearl underbelly, lots of glitter. And uh, the hooks look very nice. Very nice, in fact. Um, get a close-up of that so you guys can get a good look at what I'm seeing here looks nice all right so that is the Lou pencil goes for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents the next bait we have is the storm silent square goes for eight dollars and ninety nine cents now let's be honest with each other here you guys when I first got my mystery tackle box my very first one if I'm not mistaken it had a storm Arashi in it so Apparently we're, get, we're getting another one, which, I mean, this is a good crankbait. I, I don't have any problems with it. This is the hot chartreuse shad color, it looks like, from the bottom there. But it is interesting that they're, um, that I've already had this bait already. But you get a good look at it, see what this thing looks like. Circuit board lip, this little thing right here is like a self-tuning line tie area right here kind of moves from side to side and makes this thing um, self-tune in the water makes it run correctly big big hooks on it and it's a silent bait the only rattle that you're hearing is that tuning thing there but nice looking bait there i, I always like these chartreuse body ones especially um certain times of the year i guess it just depends for me but i throw a lot of chartreuse or red when the um, when the sun is not out, so you get a lot of overcast. I like to throw these chartreuse baits here. So they are very, they work very well for certain purposes. That's that bait there. That's a storm silent square. I, I guess I'm just kind of thrown off that I get, that I got another one because I've already had one of those before. All right, the next bait we have is the All-Terrain Tackle Rattling All-Terrain Jig. And that is this guy right here. Now, <clears throat> just by looking at it right off the bat, I can tell you that I would, I would be successful in throwing this particular jig just because it matches the type, of, the type of fishing that I like to do. It's about a quarter ounce. I normally like to throw lighter jigs like that. And I really like that color a lot, that, that June Bug esque color there and it says it's got all kinds of stuff inside of it as far as a removable rattle system i don't know if it has all that inside let's just take a look and quit guessing okay so there's our there's our removable rattle there and a fairly large hook on it I like it. And it is a flat eye jig too. 
for those of you that don't know, like a uh, flat eye is uh, where the line tie on it is perpendicular to the hook. So if the hook is if the hook is this way, right, like they always are, then it would be perpendicular running this way. Where some some uh, eyelets are in the same way as or oriented the same way as the hook. I don't really have much of a preference. Uh, it seems that the flat eyes are normally a little bit harder to come by. I think you see a lot of the standard ones a little bit more readily, I guess. Very interesting. It's got a, uh, some grooves on the bottom of this, too. I like it. I'll probably end up taking the rattle off, to be completely honest with you guys, though, because I typically don't like to have a lot of stuff on my jigs like that. Uh, I think that they just end up getting in the way and end up breaking and and I just don't felt don't feel like I've been any more or less successful by having a rattle or not having a rattle so I, I normally just opt to not have them <clears throat> now the next thing I have in here is the Northland tackle core swim bait by the way the the altering jig goes for four dollars and seventy nine cents now the Northland tackle core swim bait if I had it in this box would go for $4.99. Unfortunately, I don't have that. And it's kind of strange, and I meant to uh, contact the folks over there at Mystery Tackle Box about this, but I didn't get around to doing it because I was very, very busy this week with work and stuff, but uh, they put this in here instead. So I don't know how much they go for, but this is the Supercharged Impulse Reactionary Baits. And it looks like there's like four or five of them, or well, four of them in there. Kinda looks like a worm. This is in the Oliver Green, not olive green, but Oliver Green color, four and a half inch. Let's see if I uh, can pull one of these out of here. And what are these, huh? Okay, so they're just a, a, like a little, a little swim bait. Not too dissimilar from, from a Kai Tech. To be completely, to be completely honest with you, they're very soft, and they look very similar to a Kitek, except for um, the the Kiteks that I normally use are the Swing Impact Fats. This would be more similar to just the regular Swing Impact, I believe, is what those ones are called, because these are just a little bit uh, flatter or sl slender. I don't know how much they go for, but I, I thought it was kind of strange because I got, again, I, I got that thing instead of getting the core swim bait in here that this thing says. So the core swim bait was $4.99. I imagine that, that, that this pack here is probably around $4.99 as well, but uh, who knows, right? Comment down below if you guys got one of these in, in your box and you weren't supposed to. Interesting. <clears throat> Moving on. The next thing that we have is the weighted swim bait hook from Mustad. Goes for two dollars and ninety nine cents. That's these guys right here. So the weighted swim bait hook, swim bait, swim swim, <laughs> the weighted swim bait hook, four aught, and there's three pieces to it. And did I say what hook weight they were? I didn't. They're one eighth. So one eighth ounce. So you can probably use these with these impulse swim baits here. Um, gosh. Now I'm starting to wonder if that Northland Tackle Core swim bait is what that is, but that says impulse on it. Impulse reactionary baits. Northland Fishing Tackle. It is that. Okay. You know what? That's my fault. Northland Tackle Core Swim Bait. So that's what this is. I guess I was getting thrown off by this name here. By it saying Impulse on it. Impulse Reactionary Baits. So that is what, what this is. So that's my fault. So this is uh, $4.99 for this guy. And it looks like this was done on purpose as to... <clears throat> you can use these hooks here with this swim bait probably a, a bit heavy but I think you can definitely use it 
and probably be successful in, in throwing these with this. All right, moving on. Let's see, the next thing we have are the Cabin Creek Baits Salty Creature. Goes for $2.24. Now, wait a minute. Oh, you know what? I skipped one. We're gonna go back to the Charlie's Worms. It's the Finesse Worm, goes for $4.99. And it's these guys right here. And they're, just like they normally do in these Charlie's Worm packs, they, they throw in a lot of, a lot of soft plastics in, inside the bag, which as a consumer I appreciate because we all know how some soft plastics just don't last and especially when the fish are biting, you definitely want to be able to have some on standby. It's a trick worm, essentially. I mean, it's not a trick worm, but it, it is basically, if you're familiar with a trick worm, that's basically what this is. It's got a flat bottom on it and kind of got a fatter portion to the tail on the back, kind of fat here towards the front, very slender in the middle. I don't think it's as long as a trick worm though. It looks like it's probably about five and a half or six inches. But that's the Charlie's Worms Finesse Worm. And that goes for $4.99. Sorry about jumping around here, guys. I, I, I didn't realize that I missed that. I got kind of hung up on the swim bait hook and then the core swim bait. And anyway, all right, moving on. Now we're on to the Cabin Creek Salty Creature. It goes for $2.24. The interesting thing that I found about this um, was I think that this pack is normally in the non-pro box because this is just by the looks of it, it looks like it's a uh, sample pack. It says Mystery Tackle Box 4 pack on it so I'm sure that Cabin Creek is making sample packs for Mystery Tackle Box uh, that don't include the full pack. You probably get maybe eight of these normally and in this one you're only getting four. But um, I guess by looking at it on its face, and I really don't know this for sure, but by looking at this card here, because normally, you know, it kind of stops about right here most of the time. So I would say just like everything after that is kind of like bonus, right? Um, so I think that this Cabin Creek bait thing for $2.24 is a bonus, to be honest with you. So it's a sample pack. And they're, they're basically brush towels. I'll pull one out for you guys. Let me take a look at it really quick. It's basically a brush hog, just a little fancier. It's got some hands on it. and Well, that's really basically the difference. Um, where this has hands and the brush hog are kind of connected at the top. All right. And last but not least, we have some garlic scent. And it doesn't have a price listed next to this garlic scent, but you get a little vial of it. It says Mystery Taco Box right on it. So there's that. Most of the Mystery Taco Boxes, you get this sticker. So I got a sticker, but I didn't get the Dibble Digest like I normally do. So kind of a interesting box here to be completely frank with you guys, because normally, um, you know, I got more stuff in here, right? But I kind of got lost in here and it looks like there's um, some sample stuff in here, which I don't normally get in the pro box which I'm not complaining about, it is what it is, but just kind of interesting, I guess. All right, let's recap. We got the Lucky John Pro Series Lou Pencil. It goes for $12.99. We got the Storm Silent Square, the Arashi. It goes for $8.99. We got the All-Terrain Tackle Rattling All-Terrain Jig, $4.79. The Northland Tackle Core Swim Bait, the thing that I didn't realize I had on this card it goes for $4.99 for a pack of four. The Charlie's Worms Finesse Worm goes for $4.99. Looks like it's like a pack of 15. A three pack of Mustad Weighted Swim Bait Hooks goes for $2.99. A four pack, or what I would call a sample pack, of Cabin Creek Bait Salty Creature Baits goes for $2.24. And finally, a what I would call a trial size of MTB Garlic Scent. And they don't have a price next to this, so this would be free, I'm guessing. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate that. 
Stay tuned for my next video. I should probably have a, another review out this week. So I'm hoping to get that out here before my next fishing video, which I'm going fishing this Saturday. So we'll see if I can turn out another fishing video for you guys. I know that you guys really like those. Stay tuned for that. Also, I'll leave links in the description for my Facebook and Instagram pages. So check me out on there. I'm always posting different stuff about some of the behind the scenes of this channel type stuff and what's going on in my personal life. So if you guys want to check me out on there, Links are down in the description. Stay tuned, guys. I really appreciate it.